Hi everyone, I'm Gavin. I'm so excited to see how some of our favorite things work. That's right, we're gonna see the science behind things like bubbles and Orbeez. It's gonna be amazing. And it'll help us learn something awesome about Jesus. I love playing with bubbles, but sometimes I wonder, how do bubbles go from a liquid to little orbs that float in the air? So I asked my friend Stella, the scientist, if she could help us with this. Let's see what she has to say. Hi everyone, my name's Stella and I love science. Today, we're gonna play with bubbles. So cool! Bubbles are a great way to help us understand elasticity, surface tension, chemistry, and light. Okay, those are a lot of big words, so let's break it down. Everyone, take a deep breath with me. Did you feel that in your chest? That was air entering your lungs. A bubble has that same air trapped in a film of soap. This soap film is made of soap and water. When the ingredients of soap and water come together, their molecules combine almost like a sandwich. The first ingredient in the sandwich is soap, then water's in the middle, with another layer of soap on the other side. And when you blow into the bubble solution, the molecule sandwich traps the air like this. Finished bubbles are round because the ball shape has the smallest surface area for its size. And bubbles pop when the water between the layers of soap evaporates or dries up. A bubble can also pop when force is applied, like when you poke a bubble or hit it with your hand. Now that we know the science behind bubbles, I think we should play and have some fun. Today, we're gonna start with these small bubbles. Okay. First, we're gonna play with these bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, woo! Ooh, look at that, there's like five bubbles in one. I could do this all day long. Now we'll make some bigger bubbles. So with this, I'm gonna blow through it and see what happens. Oh yeah, that was huge. Oh man, I got a couple more. Wow, yeah, these are awesome. Let's do two at a time. Ooh, my theory does not work. There were like five bubbles in one. Okay, now it's time for giant bubbles. I've got my giant Bubbletron 3000. I'm gonna submerge the rope completely in this thing full of soap and water. And we'll see what happens. So I have to lift it up. Oh, ooh. Okay, round one was a fail. But I think we're getting the idea. Let's try it again. That was sick. Yes! Oh! Oh! Did you see that? That was sick. That was really cool. I had so much fun playing with bubbles today. See you next time, friends. Thanks, Stella. That was amazing. But I know someone who's even more amazing. Jesus! He's so powerful. Today's Bible story is all about him. But first, Let's head to the exploration station to get a clue for our story. Hey everyone, today we're going to move this slime around and reveal a picture. This picture will lead us to today's Bible story. If you see the picture, raise the roof.
Do you think you see it? Look, it's a picture of a man with mud on his eyes. This picture is from today's Bible story when Jesus healed a man using some mud. It's time to jump into the Bible. Everyone, stand on your feet. One, two, three, jump! of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples, and he saw a man who was born blind. Hey, Jesus! His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, Go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! The man's neighbors and others who knew him as a blind man wondered if this was the same man is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's right. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Oh, that's what happened. The people asked, where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. How about you? So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, mm, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come back. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hey there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped Jesus. That Bible story was so cool. Jesus healed the man who was born blind. Jesus has the power to heal. Jesus is powerful. Hey kids, I think we just got our big idea. And now it's your turn to tell Max the mic. Everyone say, hey Max the mic. Hey Max the mic. Max the mic, that's me. We know you got a lot to tell him. Max the mic. Hi everybody. Go on and answer the big question. You are really smart. Yes like you are. Aristotle and Einstein. Wait, who? So come on down and talk to this guy, Max, the mic. Come on, everybody. It's time to answer the big question. Talk to Max, the mic. woo Yeah!
Thanks, Max. Great job, everyone. You told Max today's big idea. Jesus is powerful. Let's say that together. Jesus is powerful. One more time. Jesus is powerful. Awesome job. Jesus is so powerful. I think we should celebrate that with a dance party. Everyone, stand up. Get on your feet. Let's dance. Hit it, DJ.